What's up guys, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at Dolby Atmos versus Oral 3D. More specifically, we're checking out the starting scene of the movie Inferno. If you have the Oral 3D demonstration disc as well as the normal Inferno 4K disc, you'll probably be able to do the same comparison as I'm doing here today. Now as for speaker layout, we're using four high channel as well as no voice of God. I think that makes up for the most fair comparison. Now I have looked at this scene countless times in Oro 3D as well as Dolby Atmos. I think I have a pretty good sense of what is, what the difference is. But uh, first of all, let's just go through the scene and uh, yeah, we'll talk about the differences afterwards. Starts with this uh, running scene where there's this ticking sound which sounds very satisfying to listen to and the dialogue is very clear there's a lot of thing going on in the city and uh, yeah like just for this instant you can hear the guy with uh, the waiter having like some dishes in his hands as well as uh, when he's cleaning the streets that car kind of passes over you like that Mostly dialogue, which is crisp and clear, as well as the ticking sound. Now as he comes up in the tower, he opens the hatch. And it has a very nice effect. You can really hear that it goes up. And as he reaches for the edge, and it pans around the tower, there's some very intense bass here. probably the best effect in this scene this bird the bird that crosses kind of in front of you and upwards as well as you can hear he slips more down in the sound stage on the right side kind of caught you off guard now spoiler alert he does a suicide jump okay so let's talk about what the difference is there is two differences in at least in this scene the first one is the dialogue. The dialogue sounds more natural with Oral 3D. I even tried out this scene with my wife that doesn't really care too much about audio. And she also mentioned that it sounds more natural, the dialogue in the Oral 3D version. So that's one thing. The other thing is uh, when it's panning around the tower, the bass is much more heavy on the Oral 3D. So if that has just to do with the mixer himself, or if, or if it just works differently, I have no idea. But uh, I think it's clear to say that Oral 3D in this movie is better than Dolby Atmos. Does that mean that Dolby Atmos is worse than Oral 3D? Of course not. And probably these movies has been mixed in different studios by different people. So we can really never tell if Dolby Atmos is better than Oro 3D or the other way around, can we? So yeah, I guess that clears up this scene. So if you have any questions or if you have any comments uh, regarding Oro 3D, please let me know below. Maybe you <clears throat> are a fan of Oro 3D or you're not. Either way, let me know below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.